You ever wonder how easy or difficult it is to update the BIOS of a motherboard? Today we're going to take a look at that. Okay, you keep hearing about these things called BIOS updates. And while there is always a warning with them about you update the BIOS at your own risk because you could brick the BIOS, which is entirely possible. It's easy to do in the sense of if you use the wrong BIOS file to update your BIOS. I'm not really sure what else to call it, so we're just gonna go with that. Um, in fact, uh, Jay's Two Cents even talks about uh, when he was updating one of his um, partner boards that was not a retail unit and he used a retail BIOS to update that, uh, I believe it was an MSI board, uh, he bricked the board. Uh, and that can happen. Now, I'm gonna show you how to update a couple of motherboards. One will be a B450F by uh, Asus. I believe it's the Strix B450F. And then um, I'm also gonna show you how to update a Maximus 11 Extreme. I'm gonna show you two ways of doing so. One is just going into the BIOS and using their flash utility. And the other one is actually uh, the Asus version of the Easy Flash, which we're all we're gonna do is we're just gonna press and hold down the BIOS flash button, let it do its thing, and voila, that's it. So let's go ahead and dive right in and I'll show you how to do this. First thing we're gonna show you here, and I will do this on the B450F as well, is we're gonna go ahead and open up uh, rog.asus.com, that's rog.asus.com. Um, the reason I'm going there is this is where I'm going to get my drivers, or in this situation, my BIOS for uh, the update. Uh, it's very simple, again, uh, I'm gonna go to products, I'm gonna go to motherboards next, and then after that, I'm going to simply go for the board I've got. Now, I know someone actually requested that I take a look at uh, how to update the Maximus 11 formula. These instructions are basically exactly the same for the one I'm gonna do right now, which is the Maximus 11 Extreme. We're gonna go ahead and select that. We're gonna go to Support, Drive Utility, BIOS Firmware, and we're gonna select this one right here. Now, I currently, I'm gonna show you here that I am on BIOS version 1302. I'm gonna go ahead and update this to BIOS version 1401. And you can see there's multiple BIOS in here. BIOS E's, BIOS S, BIOS, I'm not really sure, whatever it is. But today we're gonna to go with the BIOS of 1401. I will download that. Now I've already put this on my drive, but I'm just gonna show you how to do this again. Go to this. Now this is one of those BIOSes that does require that you rename the file. And this one comes with a BIOS renamer. And when you reference your um, motherboard's um, user guide, uh, they will tell you how they want the BIOS file named. In this situation, they want this one f uh, named a certain way. And I'm gonna show you. You could actually manually do it, but I'm just gonna do it this way so that I have no questions about what I'm doing, about whether I do it wrong or something, because obviously one way you could brick the BIOS is by doing this wrong. Um, I have never actually bricked a BIOS and I hope to never do so. I'm sure at some point maybe I will, but I don't want to. So it when I took that file and I ran the BIOS renamer, I renamed it to M11E for Maximus 11 Extreme. So took this file and named it this. Now all I would do is here is I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna to go to my drive, which I've already done this, but there's the file and then I would just paste it here very simply. And that's what we're gonna to use to do this update. Now, I'm gonna show you two ways of doing this. I've already done one and I'll show you that complete version after I do this. But first we're going to go ahead and restart this computer. All right, this is pretty straightforward. As you can see, my BIOS up here is set at 13.02. I showed you that from the motherboard. Forgive me for the glare. I can't find a good spot to get rid of the glare and I don't have a capture card yet. I will at some point get one, I just don't have one yet. So there's a couple ways of doing this. One, I'm not gonna actually complete this one. I will show you on the B450F because I wanna show you how to do it uh, the other way on this one. But you can go into the flash utility here and we'd be using the storage device. And then we would click next. 
we would actually go to the drive that I've got installed in this situation, my F0 drive or FS0, that's my uh, USB flash drive. And that would be the file that I'd want to use. So I would simply go over here and I'd select that and I would uh, proceed from there. However, we're not gonna do that. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna leave this and we are going to exit our uh, flash utility here. And I'm gonna show you how to do it via the USB uh, flashback that's on the back of the motherboard. This is the Maximus 11 Extreme motherboard, as you can see from right there. On this unique board, they have this awesome tool, which is a manual BIOS flashback, which is very useful, especially in the event if you were to freeze or brick your BIOS. Uh, haven't done that. I hope to never do that. Very important when using this feature, this actually has a BIOS drive option for USB 3.1. So we're gonna go ahead, and this is the drive that I saved my BIOS to that was named correctly. And all you literally do here, and this is in the drive, is you just press and hold this until it starts to flash. And now it's gonna go ahead and run the BIOS update. And when it's done, it will stop. So we're gonna go ahead and let it do its thing, and we will go from there. Okay, two things. One, this is finished now. You can tell because the lights have gone off. Now two, I tried to get this up and running quickly when I noticed uh, that I had actually uh, not been updating the BIOS. This light, and I'll show you in the previous video, it stayed solid. So it flashed initially for about five seconds and then it stayed solid. What that means is that the, um, it wasn't reading the BIOS file correctly. So all I did was go onto the drive. I deleted the original BIOS file, installed the one I just downloaded, press and held that again, and then it just flashed. And it will flash throughout the process. When it's done, that's telling you that the BIOS was successfully updated. Now we're gonna boot this back up. And in theory, this should be all set to go. So first, go ahead and do that. We're gonna run it, let, let it, uh, we're going to let it run through its post. And then in a moment here, we should get our message that we can get into BIOS and uh, we'll be set to go. Okay, we are back into BIOS almost. Uh, this is the message you're gonna get again for, um, uh, I guess the system set up because we did go ahead and do it. You'll see we got a CPU fan error and that's because of how I have my fan set up. So we're gonna do a couple things here first. One, we're back in and we're gonna go to main. And you can see we are now updated to BIOS 1401. So that's very important. Before I do anything, including resetting my um, BIOS settings, I go down here and I shut off Armory Create because this thing is, de uh, is enabled by default. And personally, I don't use their bloat software. I don't like it. Um, I try to eliminate as much of ASUS software as possible as it does not seem to work very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that that is disabled. I'm gonna run through my settings, get this all set back up, and we will move on to the B450 and then wrap this video up. So this is on a B450F gaming motherboard. So a little different than what we would do for a BIOS flashbacks on say one of the Maximus formula or extreme boards. But just to give you an example, we're gonna take our drive and we're gonna install it in here. And then next we're gonna go ahead and download our software, put it on the drive, and we will show you how to actually install the BIOS using um, BIOS flashback. So as you can see, the BIOS version is 2704. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna update this by going over to Tool, and then we're gonna use a Easy Flash Utility. We're gonna go into the storage device. Click on Next, see if it works, yep. And we're gonna go to our file, which in this situ situation is the one that we just downloaded, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and update that using this. Hit Yes. Yes, we're gonna update that. And it's gonna run its cycle here. And once it's done, that's all it's gonna take. 
And then here we are coming to the end of this update. So now it's just gonna go ahead and reset. So pretty straightforward, right? We'll come back here once it's turned on. All right, there we go. Now it's coming to this saying that we have to go ahead and go back into BIOS because we have to run the initial setup because it does have a new BIOS presented on it. So we're simply gonna run the F1. It will verify for us here in a moment what the new BIOS is. As you can see right here, your BIOS version is listed at the top and this one is set to go. So I just reset my memory frequencies and whatever settings I may have had on it. Like this one, I didn't have an overclock. It's just a generic everyday use computer. But regardless, um, this is where you change all those items. And so those were a couple simple ways of updating your BIOS. Now I did do this on two ASUS boards. One was the B450F uh, Strix motherboard, as well as the second one was the Maximus 11 Extreme. A couple different methods of which doing so as well. Um, updating your BIOS is not a scary thing. You can run into issues, yes. It is possible, especially if you use the wrong file, if you don't uh, follow the instructions, if you kill power in the middle of it, that could be a problem. Um, but there are needs and reasons for updating your BIOS. Example, Ryzen. Uh, 2000 series was notorious for this, and especially the 3000 series now. They have issues or had issues with uh, maximum frequencies not being hit as advertised. Uh, voltage issues. Uh, RAM compatibility. All that kind of stuff can play into the BIOS. I believe the one that fixed the... Um, uh, frequency uh, compat or frequency issues with Ryzen 3000 was the ABB update. Um, don't quote me on that. I have to look that up. I'm just kind of going off the top of my head right now. But um, that fixed that. So that will be important. Um, there are lighting effects and such. If you're really big into RGB, uh, Asus Aura, their software, while a nightmare, is somewhat BIOS dependent and... I hate to say it, Horus Sync can sometimes not work if you've got an older BIOS. They actually say on there they recommend that you updating to the most recent uh, BIOS version. So again, you do so at your own risk. Um, this is just meant to be a simple tutorial uh, as requested by a couple different, um, I don't know if they're necessarily subscribers, but viewers that commented on some of my videos saying that they wanted to have some instruction on how to update the BIOS. Each manufacturer is going to have their own way. It's pretty typical across the board now as to how you do it, especially when you're within the BIOS and using their, we'll call them the Easy Flash Utilities. You know, each one's going to have their own brand uh, or trademark. So um, regardless, that's how you do it. It's simple. There are needs for doing so. I hope this was a good video for today. I'm sorry for the uh, hiatus as of late. Uh, Christmas, New Year's Eve both on Tuesdays, or Christmas Eve was Tuesday anyway, so I was busy those days. And then last week I had some unexpected uh, errands while I was hoping to be able to get a video out. I just, I couldn't do so, so. Anyway, hopefully you liked today's video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. If you didn't, you know what else I do. Hopefully it's not that. Hit that subscribe button for me as it really does help the channel. And uh, we will see you next week. Thanks. Thanks.